welcome back to my channel my name is Mimi in case you're new and in case you guys are wondering why I'm dressed in green and white today is um, 1st of October which is Independence Day in Nigeria so I'm just trying to be a little patriotic here like I miss my country so much so I'm like oh what the hell let me just wear green and white right and I also decided to make one of my very favorite Nigerian breakfast I just tricked it a bit but I really love 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 this breakfast so it's just very very simple boiled Irish potatoes with egg sauce so I already have my ingredients all prepared here this is tomatoes chopped then this is um, habanero pepper very very hot I'm also going to use um, cauliflower so this is the cauliflower floret then I'm going to be using um, colored bell peppers this is green red yellow bell peppers and of course my eggs then I'm also going to use sausages and shrimps and of course onions and this is my very very special ingredient guys so this is garlic and ginger paste I've always had this right from when I was in Nigeria like this is something I always always have in my fridge if you want to know how I make garlic ginger paste just comment in the comment section and I'll shoot a video on how I make it but it's if you love garlic and ginger this is a lifesaver so guys let's get to cooking it's already like they are done um, if you guys want to come and see my potatoes they are already I think they are already cooked so yeah I'm just going to turn this off and take this out of the fire and I'm going to drain this shortly so okay let me just move it here this has to be drained but let me just leave because it's really really hot okay this pan is ready I'm going to get my oil okay there you are um I usually just measure this by size honestly I wish I could tell you like half cup one cup whatever but I usually just measure this by size so I'm guessing this is probably like half a cup I guess all right so while that is oh, my pan is already hot guys so i don't need to wait anymore i'm going to go in with my onions and my garlic ginger paste guys you need to be careful because onions is quite hot the oil is quite hot so whoops. so oh my god this is whoa And while the onions is frying, I'm just going to go ahead and put one spoon, one tablespoon of my garlic ginger paste. My housemate doesn't really like garlic, garlic so much. So I'm just going to reduce it a bit. Just a bit. <laughs> she's actually <laughs> shooting this video and she's just laughing at me like, is that a bit? <laughs> okay, so. Oh my God. That oil was hotter than I thought. So I'm just going to do, put this immediately, guys. Because this oil was hotter than I thought. And whenever I'm making um, sauces like this, I usually don't like to cover my pot because I want my tomatoes, pepper, onions to be like um still kind of fresh like al dente kind of yeah i think i'll probably just say al dente i don't want them completely cooked let me increase the heat i don't want them completely cooked because it's a sauce right not a stew so while that is cooking i'm just going to go ahead and add a shrimps and the sausage guys let me just tell you about this garlic ginger paste so once <laughs> like literally the minute the garlic ginger paste hits the oil the hot oil the smell literally overtakes your entire house it's amazing like i cannot do without garlic ginger paste in my house or in my food it's literally impossible so for the spices, I'm going to use this Indian curry spice. It's really nice, very flavorful. Probably like a tablespoon full of it. Yeah, that should be like a tablespoon. Then I also have this smoky ranch. Yeah, smoky ranch. Um, about a tablespoon of this too. Guys, these habanero peppers are quite hot. So like I use just two small ones and of course table salt about a tablespoon of these two I 
then guys this is my bouillon like powdered bouillon and um, I'm going to be using about a tablespoon so I use this in place of the regular ni Nigerian um, Maggi or no or whatever but honestly I think I need to go to an African store to get some of those because this is good too I won't say it's not good but I I'm used to using nor and maggie and i miss them so much i think i'll probably go replace or get more this weekend so this is already looking so good and smells really really good too so like i said i don't cover my um sauce whenever i'm making it i'm just going to leave it like this So this is already looking so good guys. So for the salt, for the egg, this is my eggs. I'm going to salt it with Himalayan salt, Himalayan pink salt. So this is the salt grinder. Probably like half a tablespoon of this, give or take. And voila! So guys, because I like my eggs to be lumpy in my sauces, like I like to see my eggs in chunks. Let me reduce this heat a bit. I'm going to cover the pan for like two minutes just because of the eggs. So this has been cooking for like a minute or more now. So you see what I was talking about. I like my eggs chunky. Like I need to see my eggs like this in my sauce. So this looks like it's all good to go but don't forget we have some veggies to add to it and um, so cauliflower first and then your colored peppers and I also have chives here I'm also going to throw everything into the pot or spring onions, whatever you want to call it. The reason why I love this dish so much is because this can be a dish on its own. So if you're like on a diet, you're doing keto or one of all them diets, this is something that you can just eat on its own without the potatoes and it's still very filling this is so colorful so delicious so healthy like just name it so I'm going to cover this for like two minutes so the veggies can steam and then I'm going to come back and show you guys what the finished product looks like so i'm just going to allow it to steam for like two minutes then i'm going to dish out um my own food and show you guys what it looks like see you soon and this is the final product so guys as you can see this is <laughs> this is so colorful and it tastes so good you have no idea so you can actually make this dish uh, with yam if you don't like potatoes you can also make it with um sweet potatoes if you don't like irish potatoes whatever you like you can make it with rice anything you want to make it with is fine but i'm a sucker for irish potatoes and i always love to make this like weekends or holidays like today's a holiday in nigeria on a day like this i probably would have made this in nigeria for breakfast so i just felt why not make my favorite breakfast here in whatever just 
today is um, Independence Day in Nigeria and I'm feeling very patriotic and I miss Nigeria so much and I decided to make my favorite breakfast. I hope you guys love this video. If you try out this recipe, please do let me know. You can switch it up any how you want. You can add chicken, you can add beef, you can add veggies of your choice. I mean, food, that's why I love food. There are no boundaries, right? So I'm just going to go now to go and enjoy this meal and start my day. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching my video. I hope you love my outfit. Yay! Happy Independence in Nigeria. I miss you guys so much. I love you. Please subscribe. Bye.